Hello, uh, this is Josh Carr, and today I'd like to talk to you about checksums, precision in Excel, and why your checksums aren't working the way you'd expect. Also, before I get started, uh, if you do enjoy this sort of content, I do teach classes on Excel for real estate analysis. You can attend in person in New York City or over Zoom, depending on your preference. If you'd like to read more about my classes or sign up, please check out my website at www.kahrrealestate.com. That's the address on the screen, kahrrealestate.com. Cool. Okay. Well, with that little shameless plug out of the way, let's get into it. Um, so here's the problem the way Excel handles precision. Now, some of this is basic, some of this isn't. So before you're think to yourself, you know this before already, you, you, you actually don't. So here goes. So if you do something simple like 1 divided by 3, you get, you know, a series of 0.3s. And as you can see, it stops after about 15 decimal places. That part of the way Excel works should be familiar with anyone who's ever used a calculator. When you have a repeating number, Excel at a certain point just calls it a day. On your calculator, it might be eight digits. On Excel, it's 15. Again, depends on the technology that you're using. Here's where it gets weird. Let's say you have 22.26, a perfectly normal number, and 21.29, again, a perfectly normal number. And let's say you subtract one of those numbers from another. Instead of getting 0.97, which is what you'd expect, you get 0.97, a bunch of zeros, and then a 2. And you can see the 2 is at the 15th decimal place. You can see it's there, sort of like where the 3 is ended, there's the 2. What is going on? Here's what's going on. When you do math, because you know you have 10 fingers, 10 toes, you do things in a base 10. You count to 10, right? That's the way our number system is set up. Computers, on the other hand, do everything in ones and zeros. So the way Excel does math is instead of working with base 10, it works with base 2. It does everything's in ones and zeros, which means, and I don't want to get too technical here, depending on what the number is and depending on what the result is and what it can be divided by, what is a repeating number in Excel is not the same under base 10 and base 2. So basically what happens is when Excel converts things from 10 digits to two digits and does some math and comes back, there might be some repeating decimal number, uh, but in, or repeating binary number, I should say. There's a repeating number. The net result of this is sometimes when you have a perfectly normal number minus another perfectly normal number, you get a repeating number because Excel has to convert things from 10 digits to two digits, back to 10 digits again, weirdness happens. That's the short, not technical answer. Net result is it's not 0.97. So if you have a checksum that's like, hey, I'm looking for 0.97, and I take this minus this, and are these equal to each other, you'll get a false because, you know, it's not 0.97. So how do you deal with this? You don't have great options. Option one is you can round it and force it to be 0.97. Or option two is you could always, as you see here, there are two options. Option one is rounding. The other option is you could go to Excel options, and there's this checkbox here that you could check called set precision is displayed. In other words, if all we can view on the screen is 0.97, force it to act like it's 0.97. This bit of math, unfortunately, is a one-way trip. And once you eliminate that level of detail, it's gone. Um, so yeah, that's precision issues. Uh, Excel is not working the way you'd expect, basically, because short answer, um, you know, it's doing everything in binary and ones and zeros. And then when it converts it back to like 10 digits, Weird stuff happens. Uh, and by the way, when I say 15 digits, I mean it. So for example, if you have a really big number, as you can see here, here's a really big number of 15 digits. If I start putting in other numbers in here, like six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, and I press enter, it'll put in a bunch of zeros because Excel's attitude is, hey, I'm showing you only 15 digits. I don't care if it's 15 to the right of the decimal or the left, it's just 15. So 
there you go. Now you know a little bit more about Excel, and hopefully this will help you, as I always like to say, uh, build better models. Uh, if you have any questions on this, if this is unclear, um, I don't know, put something in the comments. And other than that, it's good to chat with all of you, and I hope all of you have a lovely day. Be well.